Prince Harry travelist. Is this the next time we'll see Prince Harry? Prince Harry's travel project Travelist is one of the first initiatives to fall under the Sussex Royal umbrella with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex committed to tackling environmental and climate issues. Could Travelist soon bring Prince Harry into the spotlight? Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, settled in North America last year and have since taken up residence in the Duchess' home city of Los Angeles. Although they have parted ways with the royal family, they retain their positions and will set up some of their own projects. One of these is Travelist, which may bring the prince out into the public later this month. The company recently announced it would conduct a global summit as travel and tourism attempts to bounce back in back following COVID-19. Stakeholders will gather on July 30th to revive the sector, keeping sustainability at the heart of their plans. The Duke of Sussex leads the initiative with Booking.com, Skyscanner, Trip.com, TripAdvisor, and Visa. In a statement, he said he hoped the travel industry could build back better. He said, the global pandemic has brought the world to a standstill, and in the process, destinations and communities who rely on travel and tourism for their livelihoods are facing a challenging and uncertain reality. Meanwhile, we must remember that the growth of tourism was on an unsustainable trajectory. As the travel and tourism industry begins to recover, we want to learn from those who are keeping communities and sustainability at the heart of what they are doing to build back better. The incoming summit has stoked hopes the prince might make an appearance himself as he has done so before. He hosted a summit with the organization in February this year. Held at Edinburgh, the Duke attended the event with the Duchess of Sussex before the two stood down as senior royals. The occasion also marked the first time she asked attending not to address him by his royal title. Speaking to the audience, event host Aisha Azarika said he made it clear that we are all just to call him Harry. Prince Harry told them he hoped the organization would protect destinations and ecosystem for future generations. He said, travel has the unparalleled power to open people's minds to different cultures, new experiences, and to have a profound appreciation for what our world has to offer. As tourism inevitably grows, it is critically important to accelerate the adoption of sustainable practices worldwide and to balance this growth with the needs of the environment and the local population. Bringing companies, consumers, and communities together is our best chance to protect destination and ecosystems for the future generations. While he has made an appearance before, there is no indication as to whether he will this time. The last time people saw Prince Harry was a video call when he and Meghan spoke with global young leaders from the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. All the time, she criticized the organization headed by his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The prince told the young leaders it needed to follow others' examples in acknowledging their imperial past and trying to right their wrongs.